Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Gurudev ISKS and Banking Academy. This is your Ravi sir. Today we are going to solve the most expected questions for MTS 2023. That is part number three. Okay. Let us start with the first question. What is the first question? The first question. What is the LCM of two numbers whose product is 432 and HDF is six? Okay. Here we have a small formula that is LCM into HCF is equal to a into b okay these are the two numbers a into b stands for two numbers and lcm into hcf they both will be equal this is a small formula okay so he is asking what is the lcm of two numbers now whose product product is nothing but what the multiplication of two numbers so multiplication of two numbers he has given how much 432 that means a into b is 432 okay then we has given what hcf hcf is how much 6 okay that hcf will be 6 okay he is asking what is the lcm when this multiplication of 6 will go in the right hand side that will become what the division okay now lcm is equal to 432 divided by 6 okay this 6 will go into the denominator right hand side now this one is 6 1 ja 6 7 ja is 42 okay next one carry that is 6 2 ja that is nothing but the lcm is equal to how much 72 okay by option number Four will be the right answer okay please remember the formula this formula okay this is the important formula to find lcm or hcf or any numbers okay that means uh, the two numbers of the lcm and hcf okay this is important okay next question question number two if the cost price of 15 pencil is equal to the selling price of 10 pencils what is the gain or loss percentage okay he is telling that cost price of 15 pencils okay cost price of 15 pencils okay is equal to he is saying he is saying that they are equal okay what are equal selling price of 10 pencils selling price of 10 pencils okay he is asking whether it is gain or lose okay let us see what, whether it, he is getting uh, is gain or lose okay whether it is in the profit or lose first you cancel this one by a uh, uh, the number okay this both numbers will be divisible by 5 okay 5 3 ja this one is 5 2 ja okay next uh, the cost price will be here left hand side if you take the selling price in the left hand side it will become what uh, divide by sp is equal to this 2 is in the right side numerator okay this 3 will go to the denominator now the ratio of cost price to selling price is 2 is to 3 okay i am getting one more here that is plus 1 this is nothing but what uh, the profit okay the cost price is what two ratio and selling price is what three ratio one ratio is nothing but what the profit that is nothing but whenever you are calculating the percentage profit percentage or loss percentage okay profit percentage because clearly i am seeing what the profit of one rupees you can you can take it and assume it as one rupees okay Profit percentage always profit. Profit is how much? 1. Okay. Divide by always cost price. That is 2 into 100 because I want a percentage. This is 2 1 ja. This is 2 50 ja. Is nothing but 50% what I am getting profit. Okay. That is 50% gain. Option number 3 will be the right answer because I am purchasing for 2 rupees. I am selling it for 3 rupees. Ultimately, what I am getting the profit. Okay. Of 1 rupees. So, third question what is the third question sandeep buys a toy car for 500 rupees okay whenever he says a buy okay buying is nothing but what cost price i am buying a car toy car so there is nothing but it is cost price cost price is how much 500 rupees okay cost price is 500 rupees and sells it for 625 rupees he is selling price is how much he is selling that car for rupees how much for rupees 625 what is the gain or lose percentage? Obviously, I am saying that 500 rupees, uh, I am purchasing it and I am selling it for 600, 625 rupees. Okay. Uh, obviously, I am getting what? The profit. How much I am getting the profit? Okay. I am getting plus 125 rupees. The gap is 125 rupees. 125 rupees is nothing but the profit. Okay. As I told you, whenever you are cal calculating the profit percentage or loss percentage, okay, always in the numerator you should write what the profit and in the denominator always write what cost price okay into 
100 because I want the percentage. This 0, this 0 get cancels. This is 5 1 ja, 5 2 ja, and this is 5 5 ja. Okay, that is nothing but I am getting profit percentage. How much? 25 percentage as a profit. Okay, that means option number 3 will be the right answer. Clear? Okay, next question. Let us see the next question. The fourth one. Clear? Okay. If the rate of interest is 4% for the first year, 5% for the second year, 6% for the third year, then find the compound interest on rupees 10,000 for 3 years if interest is compounded annually. Okay. For first year, he has given how much percentage? 4% interest. Second year, 5%. Third year, 6%. So he has given the compound interest. Okay. He is told to find the compound interest on rupees 10,000 for 3 years. Okay. Whenever he use the compound interest, the compound interest of questions, okay, you can solve with the several methods. But uh, uh, as I suggest, when you are getting the interest rate differently, you can go with the tree method. Okay, let us see what is the principal amount here? Ten thousand rupees. Okay, for three years. Okay, first you, sh you should see what is the principal amount. What is the principal amount here? Ten thousand rupees for three years. Okay, that one you should concentrate first. Okay. 10,000 rupees, okay, 10,000 rupees is what uh, the principal, okay, he is told that for 3 years, okay, so I will draw here 3 lines, 1, 2 and 3 lines, for first year, I am getting how much percent, 4 percent, second year, I am getting how much, 5 percent, third year, I am getting what, 6 percent, okay, he is asking the compound interest for 3 years, simple, you should know the basic things about the 4 percent of 10,000, okay, 4 percent of 10,000 is nothing but how much, 4 100 rupees okay 5 percent of 10,000 is nothing but 500 rupees okay next 6 percent is nothing but 600 rupees clear this is first year okay next this is compound interest so I will make the what is compound interest I am getting the interest on interest is called as compound interest okay now for the second year I am getting 5 percent of 400 rupees okay 5 percent of 400 rupees 1 percent is nothing but 40 Correct. 10 percent is 40. 1 percent is 4. 5 percent is 4. 5 is how much? 20. Okay. Write 20 over here. Okay. Next again. On the third year, I am getting the interest on 400 rupees, 500 rupees as well as on 20 rupees. Okay. Now, how much I am getting is important. Now, 6 percent I am getting. Right. 6 percent of 400. Okay. 6 percent of 400. Okay. This is first point. Next. 6% of 500, 6% of 500, next I am getting 6% of 20, 6% of 20, okay, this all I am getting because it is compound interest, okay, so 6% of 400 is nothing but how much, 6% of 400 I will get how much, 24, correct, so write 24 over here, okay, next is 500, 6%, because in the third year you should write all the 6%, okay, now 6%, this one is how much, 30 okay this is 30 right over 30 okay now here 6 percent of 20 okay 6 percent of 20 6 into 20 this percentage will be divided by 100 this 0 this 0 get cancelled this is 2 1 ja, 2 5 ja. 6 by 5 will get how much 1.2 as answer clear that is nothing but 1.2 you write here it okay now if i add this one this will be 0.2 this will be 5 this will be 5 and this will be 6 655.2 rupees. This is for third year. For second year, I am getting 500 plus 20 is nothing but 520 rupees. Next, for the first year, I am getting how much? 400 rupees. This is for first year. This is for second year. This is for third year. Add this all the three things. Okay. 400 for first year. Second year, I am getting 520 rupees. Third year, I am getting how much? 655.2 2 rupees okay if I add this one this is 0.2 this is 5 this is 7 okay this is 15 15 75.2 I am getting that is option number 2 will be the right answer okay this is a 3 method okay first 4 percent 5 percent 6 percent next 5 percent for the first one 6 percent for all the three okay add this thing you'll get the interest that is option number 2 will be the right answer is it clear okay this one will help you a lot in the coming examinations okay next the fifth question the radius of a circular wheel of a toy car is 56 mm in how many revolution can it cover a distance of 
176 centimeter okay now here you concentrate this is in centimeter this is in mm okay concentrate on unit okay which plays a very important role now it is uh, revolving okay in how many revolutions it completes 176 centimeter is telling and he has given the pi value as 22 by 7 that is that we know already now he has given the radius how much he has given the radius radius is 56 mm okay millimeter he has given but uh, the revolution he is asking is centimeter okay let us see it afterwards okay first we will solve what we want okay whenever he gives this one always calculate the perimeter okay perimeter what is the perimeter perimeter that is nothing but the circumference okay circumference of a circle okay perimeter and circumference both are same okay this is technical name circumference or perimeter okay of a circle because it is a wheel circular wheel okay perimeter is nothing but 2 pi r okay 2 into pi value is how much 22 by 7 what is the radius is given 56 okay 56 okay this one 7 1 ja 7 8 ja clear now this is 2 into 22 is 44 44 into 8 okay 8 4 is how much 32 8 4 is 32 plus 3 is how much 35 that means 352 okay 52 mm i got what the circumference what is this means circumference means for one revolution it is moving it is the uh, wheel okay wheel of the toy car is moving okay wheel of the toy car is moving how much 356 uh, sorry 352 mm okay for how many revolution one revolution but he is asking how many revolution it can make for 176 centimeter okay this is very important now after this okay we are calculated the circumference after this he is asking that 176 centimeter okay don't worry whenever he has given the centimeter it can be converted in mm okay 1 centimeter is equal to 1 centimeter is equal to 1 centimeter is equal to 10 mm okay similarly he is asking what 176 centimeter 176 centimeter is equal to 1760 mm okay i have connected 70 centimeter into mm because we have the perimeter in mm okay so now 1760 what is this the total distance okay the total distance in one revolution it is covering how much 352 clear so for to complete 352 revolution okay uh, sorry 352 uh, perimeter in one revolution so for total 1760 mm what are the revolution it is asking okay now if i see this clearly uh, i can i can get that 352 phi ja let us get the phi 2 ja is how much 10 5 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26 5 3 is 15 and 17 that means 352 1 ja 352 phi ja that means it should make a total phi revolution then it can reach 176 centimeter clear that is nothing but option number 3 will be the right answer okay if i get, tell you small example that in one revolution it can go for 10 centimeter for one revolution okay for one revolution it is moving how much 10 centimeter okay for one revolution it is moving how much 10 centimeter for two revolution 20 centimeter similarly to complete 176 centimeter it should rotate how much 5 revolution okay for of 352 mm clear so for more updates okay job notifications magazines youtube online classes okay uh, please subscribe the channel gurudev isks and banking academy also join on telegram channel follow us on instagram channel follow us on also on facebook page keep learning all the best